Hello, go horrors and deadites, and welcome to Our Life in Horror. My name's Sam. I'm going to be doing a solo movie review on Killing Ground. Um, this is a 2016 Australian horror film. I absolutely love Aussie horror. It, they are always so good. Uh, this is actually directed by Damien Power, and it was his directorial debut. Um, very impressed with the fact that this was his first film. Uh, a lot of people compare this movie to Eden Lake, and I totally understand why. It has very similar vibes. Um, Similar setting, similar storyline. The antagonists are just different. Um, this one is also very bleak. Um, does it have the same bleak ending as Eden Lake? You will have to watch and find out. Um, this is starring Harriet Dyer and Ian Meadows. I thought they both did a great job. I thought everyone in this film did a good job at acting in their roles. And instead of following one couple throughout this movie like in Eden Lake um we're following we are following a couple but also a family and it kind of takes place in different times um it confused me a little bit at first but uh I figured it out pretty quick um trigger warning there is essay in this movie um just so you're warned if you can't handle that maybe don't watch this movie <laughs> It's very bleak. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. I was very invested, um, very outback feels. And honestly, it's just right up my alley. So I'm going to get into spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie, stop this video, go watch it, and then come back and watch the spoiler part of this uh, review. So I'd like to start with cinematography. Um, I thought everything looked really good. I really love the dirty outback feel to this film. Um, that's right up my alley. Um, there's a couple of really cool shots. There's a shot of Sam, the girl and the couple walking with her backpacks and you see in behind her, um, Ollie, the little toddler baby, um, you see him running and kind of falling and running and falling. Um, and I, it, I had to do like a double take because I was like, oh my God, like that's that's the little boy running behind her and she's just like smiling with her bags and doesn't even notice. Um, so I thought that was a really cool shot. And then there's also, it's such a horrible part of the movie, but I thought the shot was done really well. It's unfortunately the shot with the SA. Um, they they imply it in this movie. They don't actually show it, but it was still super effective. And if, just the shot of the the mom and the daughter and the, the dad, and he's basically tied up, and the woman are just laying there. Like it's just super bleak, and I just thought it was really well done for. Well, it's a horror movie, so <laughs> they really went there without having to actually show the act, which I liked. Um, and then just seeing the antagonists, um, Cooch, Ch Chuck, and Germ, just seeing them like put bullets in them was just, it's just terrifying. <laughs> um, and then Ch when Chuck shoots Germ, um, so this is the point in the movie where I thought, you know, maybe we would get a better ending than Eden Lake. Not a be like better ending, but less of a bleak ending. Um, Germ is clearly um, the, I don't know how to explain it, the higher up of him and Chuck. Like Chuck looks up to him and does what he says pretty much. He runs the show. Um, so once Chuck took Germ out, I was like, oh shit, like this is, we're, we're going to wrap things up here. Um, but Chuck really does not stop going after them. <laughs> um, and then we see him throw Ollie to the ground. And that part was extremely bleak. Um, just rough, like super rough. I think my jaw dropped when I saw that. And that's when I realized, yeah, we're, we're not going to get a super happy ending, like, uh, similar to even like, I guess. Um, I also 
think the antagonist dog was really cute. I just want to throw that out. I liked how he laid next to Germ when he was dying or when he was dead and like didn't want to follow Chuck because he wanted to protect him. Um, but I also really liked how he ran over to Ollie and laid with him after. Um, I thought that was sweet and also really sad. Um, I also liked the part, I like the fact that Ian did not take Ollie with him. It kind of shows human error. Um, like when you're in a panic like that, you, you really don't know what to do. And as a viewer, I definitely thought Ollie was just dead. So I didn't think twice about his decision, but when he reunites with Sam and she's like questioning why he didn't take him, it made me like have all this like guilt rushed into my head, even though I wasn't the one that made the decision. Um, so I really like that part of the movie because it just goes to show like mistakes you can make when you're in these situations. Hopefully we're never in these situations. <laughs> um, backtracking a little bit. I really liked how we were following the couple at a different time than we were following the family, but we're kind of seeing the family or sorry, the, the couple looking at the tent that's there and like realizing that no one's showing up and things are a little off. Um, I really like the sequence of events. Um, and then we're also watching the family go through what they're going through. Um, I guess a little bit in the past. Um, I thought that was really neat and, uh, unique. At the end, we get Sam um, basically crushing Chuck with the rock. And I thought that was really badass. And I really liked that ending. You see her waking up in the hospital and her, I guess, fiance, because she did ask him to get married, is in the, is in the hospital as well. So it's a little bit of a happier ending um, in this movie, but it's still it's still just horrifying for the family and for ollie you know we i thought ollie might have made it out with them but unfortunately he did not um so overall i really enjoyed this movie it's super rough to watch but that's kind of the horror that i like it's i guess kind of realistic with human killers and it's not supernatural or anything um it's just it's just scary like just a family going on a camping trip and horrific things happening and then this couple going on a camping trip and horrific things happening um i would rate this probably a high thumbs up i would probably sit down and rewatch this with brendan one day if you wanted to watch it and yeah i really enjoyed it so please let me know what you think of this movie in the comments and please like, share and subscribe and stay spooky.